Namaste everyone, welcome to Amsa Yoga Center, this is Kaina. Today we are going to look at the pose called Bhuja Pidasana. Bhuja which means the shoulders, Pida means the pressure. In English is also known as shoulder pressing pose. Before moving to the video, if you are a new visitor to our channel, do subscribe and click the bell icon and you are not going to miss any video from our channel. Let us begin the practice. First, we will begin with Malasana. From Malasana, just open your legs, hip width apart, okay? From here, slowly lift your hips up, okay? Now, slowly palms behind the heels, okay? Now, slowly go inside as much as possible. Now, slowly place your top of the shoulder near the calf muscles, okay? And stay here. Yes, from here slowly drop your hip down, the buttocks rest and look forward and stay here. In the beginnings, do not tighten up the elbows, okay? Let your elbows be bended, no problem. Yes, now slowly stay here comfortably. Yes, now slowly hips up and slowly release and same way come to Malasana and relax. Slowly shake your hands. Yes, let us do the second stage. Same way, lift your hip up. Now this time you are placing the palm beside the foot. Okay, same way, go inside as much as possible. Now slowly lock your ankles. Just go down. Okay, from here slowly place your palm beside the foot. And slowly drop your hip down. And slowly look forward. Now slowly lift your heels up and try to balance on your two and stay here. Okay. Let us hold for a few seconds. Yes, now slowly from here, slowly wiggle your legs inside. Yes, from here, slowly lift your one foot up and down. Up. And down. Now slowly try to stretch the legs one by one. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, and relax. Slowly, legs, foot on the mat. Slowly lift your upper. Slowly, same way. Come back to Malasana and slowly shake your hands. Now, that let us look at the third stage, how to do it, okay? If you want, if optional, you can practice with the block as well. Place your palm beside the foot, slowly hips down. Yes, now slowly lift your heels up, come to the toes, slowly wiggle your legs together. Now slowly lift your one foot up, and stay here. Now slowly lift your other foot and down. Now slowly lift your one foot up and stay here. Yes, try to balance as much as possible. In the beginning, in the beginning you may fall down like this at the back side, okay? No problem, keep on practicing, keep on working, okay? If you have any fear, I may get fell down. For that reason, you can place the pillow under the back side as well. Let us see how to do the final one, the which is we are crossing the legs and holding for few seconds. Okay, let's begin. Let us come to the Malasana first. Same way, lift your hip, palms beside the foot, hips down slowly, lift your heels, Wiggle your toes, walk your toe inward, slowly lift your one foot up, other foot up and slowly bring your legs together and slowly cross your leg. In the beginning, the elbow will be bended, no problem over that. After practicing a few days, you will, your elbows will be stretched completely, okay? 
This is the final position of Puja Pidasana. Yeah, slowly release your legs, slowly foot down. Same way, come back and relax. Benefits This asana improve overall balance with both mentally and physically. Regular practicing by this asana will control your heart rate as well as improve the blood circulation in the body. It also promotes the metabolism, helps to tone the abdominal muscles and internal organs. I hope this video is really helpful with your practice. Practice according to your strength and listen to your body and practice yoga daily, spread yoga and be healthy and stay fit and enjoy the life as well. See you on next video. Until then, Namaste. Thank you.